Hi everybody, it's Philip Druzhinian and uh, I was kinda busy and didn't finish this Ottoman's Empire uh, series which I started. The first one was about the Greece, uh, the second one is about Palestine and the third one was about Ottoman Empire uh, based on the pictures of Luigi Meyer uh, the second uh, half of 18th century and I've posted this picture uh, in the group let me find it so we can... this one it's a monument it's called the monument uh, near between Tripoli and Tartusa and I've posted it in the group uh, ancient origins group it has like 60,000 subscribers and stuff like that but no one did find any picture modern picture of uh, that monument uh, obviously 200 years passed and uh, it might have disappeared so I uh, ask you guys I ask you all of you who knows me and who doesn't know uh, you have to search for this picture because this is one of the key things that they if they destroyed it it was one of the key things and we have to find that place it's in Syria and maybe someone did visit Syria before the war uh, you know the war is for like five years right now in Syria so maybe nobody can find that picture Okay, but if you had visited Syria and visited that place between Tripoli and Tartusa, uh, Tartus, which is uh, on the shore of uh, Mediterranean Sea, so if you if you have pictured that, please send me that picture or post it and uh, just tag me into this post. Thanks a lot. So. Um, let's check some more pictures because uh, we have to start with something. Uh, okay, let's start with the first one. Um, this is obviously the picture of devastation uh, that was occurred in the beginning of 19th century. We see a pretty much destroyed seashore and those fortresses or whatever it is these walls are destroyed it, it, they even have some bushes on them so no one is able to uh, rebuild them or you name it so these guys are obviously uh, Ottomans because they look like uh, Turkish pretty Turkish or pretty what we know as Turkish because I, I wouldn't be surprised if they are not mm, those Turks that we know in the modern era so why not so uh, next picture is another devastation picture we see like a huge 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 I don't know what it is a palace or, or a cathedral something very huge because look at the size of us of those uh, people and the, the columns are just amazing just amazing they are tall and amazing okay this is uh, the modern picture of what he painted in 19th century I found one it's also near Tartus or Tartusa whatever and uh, it really did exist and it, it, it is existing right now and it did exist but it was pretty more um, pr more pretty than it looks like right now I don't know why Syrian government or or whatever is responsible for UNESCO why doesn't they care about this monument because this is obviously monument of uh, previous civilization it's another view now those monuments 
are based on megalithic constructions which are probably uh, concrete blocks but we have to for example look at them at a closer view and they have this underground facility or whatever maybe is used for burial uh, or even not for burial but for some purpose close to that so they still remain and there's another type of this building close to that place and look how it looks it has this level underground level and probably mm, before the mud flood it was just a huge building but now this is the actual level of uh, the soil or mud and this is could be just the top of the building and this is, was uh, the real building but now it's all robbed, destroyed or whatever and it's devastated that's uh, um, ruins of some stadium as they say but who knows what it was but it looks like a stadium and it's also close to Tartus just uh, all the same place maybe 20 kilometers in the, in the diameter or whatever and this is how they looked and different different painter did that his name is Fram Renan Megaliths of Amrit Amrit was uh, like a village or whatever the place uh, were uh, close to those uh, monuments there's another one but this is not pretty correct as you can see but maybe that's how they looked maybe who knows and that's that uh, disappeared one we compare those blocks to uh, pyramid blocks uh, you know you guys argue and uh, not argue but I'm pretty pissed off when I say pyramids I won't I won't say, I try to not to say that I'm gonna say pyramids like we call it in Russian so don't worry I'll be more correct on that so those blocks are pretty huge and uh, probably they're made of concrete because uh, we see this inside uh, inside the hole, hole inside, maybe a door, or maybe something like that. So this is definitely the ruins, and maybe this is the top of some building which is underground too. Those, uh, this is the famous painting of uh, and Meyer or whatever. So it's called Monuments near Tortosa. pretty cool so they were more preserved at the beginning of 19th century and probably look like at that ancient gravure that we found like this one so there's another ruins and as we can see people like you know we, they have uh, they have uh, they're not like uh, not looking like tourists or whatever they look like uh, the guys who just arrived maybe visitors maybe migrants who knows or maybe the conquerors but they're not looking like inhabitants not like the actual owners of this place here we can see that they are pretty integrated in this and they look familiar with this place and maybe that's their houses or maybe they just uh, entered someone's houses who knows but these are definitely the ruins of something and this is definitely the previous civilization artifact it was abandoned and looks abandoned maybe they just occupied the abandoned city and uh, started to live in it 
and it was in the beginning of 19th century. Who knows? So this is like a mosque or whatever. And we can see that it's integrated in some antique ruins. And it's already a, a funeral stones here. Who knows what they made these stones from. Maybe those stones became these funeral stones. Who knows? There's another ruins that is or more was captured by the new owners and they live in it right now. It's a pretty cool house for maybe some ordinary warriors or whatever. Just live in antique house. Who knows? And another view. And this is pretty documentary because we can see people here, people here, people here, people here. So definitely it's not uh, like, you know, fantasy of someone. He painted it. And why I'm saying that? Because those actual blocks are very huge. Look at this. It's like enormous wall here and it's broken. Almost two or three stones are the size of the ship. Just an unimaginable. Maybe that's a small ship, but still they're huge. Look, the height of the human is uh, not comparable to the height of the stone. It's a lot, maybe two meters high, or maybe two and a half. Who knows? And there's another place, which is actually looking pretty cool and they call it the Crusaders Crusaders uh, Cathedral of uh, Mother Lady or something like that and it's a cathedral of, uh, of Tartosa I don't know and it still remains I found those pictures and actually we can see it's pretty good condition still so, who knows when it was built, but they say they, it was built by crusaders, who knows, who knows, maybe real antique followers uh, were crusading for a while after they lost the, the lands, maybe they, that's why you know, those crusades occurred, who knows. We, we know all, only only the echo of what's really happened because n they burned those books almost every war every war occurred and they burned those books they burned those libraries they burned they burned everything for like 200 years remember even Hitler in uh, 40s he burned all those libraries why did he do that? He stole all those books from the occupied territories and he burned and burned and burned. Or maybe they confiscated and put it in some archives. Who knows? Who knows? That's the actual pictures and looks like pretty devastated and maybe even some mud flood got in in this building because look so many stones or maybe those are sandstorms. Who knows? Who knows? But it's still looks pretty abandoned even in the beginning of 20th century it looks abandoned look people walking around it's a whole bunch of sand here so that's gonna be it for Ottoman's Empire and I hope you liked it because uh, next videos of you for it's finally freed me and uh, I want you guys to check on this site so this uh, mysterious place it really did disappear and how could it disappear in 200 years who knows maybe you give me a story of that and thank you for watching subscribe and uh, support with the comments and ask questions thanks a lot